What's good, y'all? It's your boy King Cal 516 live in the mix. This is the Swiss Flame Podcast. So this week on Spectrum Sports, Frank Vogel said that AD looked imposing when he came in to train at the Lakers facility. You know, Frank Vogel hadn't seen AD for a little while. And so if you're a Laker fan, that's great news. We're going to dive into that. But before we do, please check out the website, www.swissflames.com. Hit us up on Twitter at Swiss Flame. Definitely check out the Facebook and YouTube page at Swiss Flame Podcast. We just want to thank you guys for your support. Our YouTube page is almost at 1,000 subscribers. And so we definitely appreciate your support. So please hit the like, comment, subscribe, continue your support. Thank you. Anyhow, Frank Vogel mentioned that AD looked imposing. Now, to say imposing with AD is definitely, definitely interesting that um, Frank Vogel chose that word to describe AD, which tells me that AD probably put on a significant amount of muscle. Now, how much muscle? Not too sure. But I will say this, media day in the NBA begins Monday. For the Lakers, their media day begins on Tuesday. So I would only imagine AD would speak on media day, and it's almost guaranteed that the media is going to ask AD questions about his offseason, about some of these rumors about how much um, that he's put on muscle. And I'm pretty sure somebody's going to ask him a question. Hey, Frank Vogel said, you look imposing. What do you think about that? Anyhow, so you know, by then we'll get a better idea of how much muscle he's put on. But... What does this mean for the Lakers? That's the key. This is great for the Lakers. If you're a Los Angeles Lakers fan, this is great news because, first and foremost, to me, it says that AD's locked into this season. That's what you want. Um, last season, you know, when the Lakers won a championship, there wasn't a lot of in-between time because they were flipping another season really quick. So they didn't really have a, a regular offseason. If you're a Lakers, you know, the Lakers players, you know, who had that title run didn't really have a full offseason. So AD did suffer a little bit from the off-season regimen that he normally does. And so if you're a Laker fan, this has got to be great news because it means AD's locked in. He's taking care of his body, which at this point, that's the most important thing for the Lakers. You want AD and LeBron to be healthy as possible because those guys are key to your title run. You need both of those guys. You know, it's not just you need AD. You need AD and LeBron healthy. So with AD putting on more muscle, physicality is the first thing that, you know, that comes to mind as far as on the court playing which means that he's able to absorb more hits because, honestly, AD always hits the ground. I mean, if you watch AD play, he hits the ground multiple times per game. Um, and so it's almost like he's a, he's a, he's a toothpick out there. <laughs> he, he's always hitting the ground. So you hope that he's able to absorb more of these hits and won't hit the ground as much. You're going to hit the ground, but hopefully he doesn't hit the ground as much. Also, driving to the rim, he'll be a little bit more stronger so he can inflict a little umph on other players who are getting in his way, which is going to help him out. Um, and so physicality and also just hopefully reducing some of the knick-knack injuries he occurs during the course of the season, um, put on some more muscle can help with that too. Now, there's people a lot smarter than you and me who calculate workloads and players, um, what they would have to do to maximize um, themselves on the court. You know what I mean? So hopefully, you know, all of this is calculated with some precision um, but, you know, 80 is an investment for the Lakers, and this is great news if you're a Lakers fan for sure because 80 is already one of the most skillful big. I can argue that he is the most skillful big in the league if you just go all around offensively, defensively. You know what I mean? The only other guy who's probably, you know, in that same conversation would be Joel Embiid. You know, Nikola Jokic offensively, he's up there, but defensively he's not. All around, you know, you got Joel Embiid, AD. Those, those are the guys as far as all around skill. You know what I mean? And I'm, once again, I'm just talking about skill. I'm not talking about dominant. Because when you start talking about dominant, yeah, we're going to put Giannis in that conversation. But that's for another time. Anyhow, um, with that said, um, you know, it's a great sign for the Lakers, for sure. And so um, the physicality, um, helping him with injuries, those are the two key things that I see from this. And so with that said, let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the comments. What do you think about Frank Vogel saying AD is imposing? Hit me up in the comments, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Once again, we just thank you guys for your support. Definitely appreciate it. It's your boy King Cal 516 signing off for the Switch Flame Podcast.